Greetings to all of you and God bless you today. Hope everybody's doing well. Folks, I'm going to keep saying it every time I come on here. Jesus is coming and Jesus is coming one day very, very, very soon. Folks, you have all heard the saying, the devil is in the details. Well, today I want to address something that a lot of people are talking about. Some people are calling this a conspiracy theory, but I want to talk about the facts on what actually happened. So, at the Super Bowl, which was this past Sunday, which was the most watched Super Bowl ever, with over 123 million people that watched it all acro across all its platforms, there was a clip of the rapper known as Ice Spice, who was in the suite with Taylor Swift and others, who was wearing an upside down cross and appeared to throw up devil horns with her hand signals. In fact, let me show you a clip of what I'm talking about. Now, when you zoom in on Ice Spice, you will see very clearly it is an upside down cross. Now, some people will say, oh, this is representative of the Apostle Peter who was crucified upside down. However, we also know that the upside down cross is a symbol of the devil. So not only is she wearing the upside down cross, but then again, you also see her use the hand signal here, which looks exactly uh, like devil horns or the symbol of the devil. Now, people will also say, oh, she was doing the rock on signal. But folks, if you think this is just a major coincidence that she's wearing an upside down cross and using hand signals uh, that look exactly like the devil, I encourage you to do your own research here. You know, as soon as I saw this, I thought of what the Apostle Paul records in the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verses 3 to 4. This is what he says, But if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost, in whom the God of this world hath blinded the minds of them which believe not, lest the lights of the glorious gospel of Christ, who is the image of God, should shine unto them. Folks, the deception is so thick right now. The world is getting set up for the arrival of the future Antichrist. People getting involved in the occult and witchcraft is rapidly rising. We know during the coming tribulation period, Satan worship is going to be off the charts. What else are you supposed to do with the most viewed sporting event, the Super Bowl, and you have the camera directly on a rapper with an upside down cross and using hand signals that look exactly like devil horns? I'll let you be the judge of that, folks. Let's pray for these people. Let's pray for these people that are deceived, folks. If you are someone involved in witchcraft, the occult, or some other form of Satan worship, you need to run from it right now, and you need to run into the arms of Jesus Christ, who is waiting for you right now with open arms. Get saved right now. How are you saved? The gospel of your salvation is found in the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verses 1 to 4. Believe. You're believing Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins. The sin debt that you could never pay on your own, Jesus Christ paid it in full with his blood on the cross, so you could be reconciled back to him, forgiven of your sins, and be with him forever in heaven. So you're believing Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins. He was buried, and he rose again. He resurrected on the third day as it is written in the scriptures. That's the gospel of your salvation. If you're still confused, here's the bottom line. Every single one of us is a sinner. We all miss the mark. We all fall short of the glory of God, and our sin separates us from a holy, a just, and a perfect God. But God loves you so much that he would come down. He would be born of a virgin. He became flesh. He dwelt among us. He was brutally tortured and crucified and shed his precious blood for you on that cross at Calvary. Again, the sin debt that you could never pay on your own. Jesus Christ paid it in full with his blood on the cross so you could be reconciled back to him, forgiven of your sins, and be with him forever in heaven. That is love, my friends. That is love. The bottom line is this. Heaven and hell are very real, literal places, and you will spend an eternity in one of those destinations. Hell's a real place. Eternal torment, eternal separation from God. I don't want you to go there. Jesus does not want you to go there. But if you die without Jesus, you will be separated from God for eternity in hell. And I am going to tell you the truth because I love you. Jesus Christ is the only way 
to the kingdom of heaven in the only name that can save you. In the book of John, chapter 14, verse 6, we read, Jesus saith unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. In the book of Acts, chapter 4, verse 12, we read, Neither is there salvation in any other, for there is none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. In the book of 1 Timothy, chapter 2, verse 5, we read, For there is one God and one mediator between God and men, the man Christ Jesus. So the Virgin Mary is not going to save you. Buddha is not going to save you. Allah is not going to save you. Muhammad is not going to save you. Dead saints is not going to save you. Your own human effort, your works, will not save you. The New Age movement is not going to save you. There is only one way to the kingdom of heaven and one name that can save you, and that is Jesus Christ and him alone. I am begging you, I am imploring you to get saved right now. Put your faith and your trust in the blood of Jesus Christ right now. Believe Jesus died for you. He was buried and he rose again. He resurrected on the third day as it is written in the scriptures and do it now because tomorrow is not promised. And make no mistake about it, Jesus is coming and he's coming one day very, very, very soon. Keep looking up, keep watching with me and God bless you all.